Eating well to achieve a weight loss goal does not have to be hard and it really can taste amazing. And unfortunately, a lot of people think you have to eat bland food or you have to have a lot of time they spend in the kitchen in order to achieve a weight loss goal. But that's not the case at all. So today I'm gonna share with you guys 10 healthy, easy, and really delicious swaps that you can make to help support your weight loss goals. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. And today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. More on them in a bit. Okay, this first food swap is with one one that was my obsession when I was younger. I wasn't really allowed to have it, but I would always snack on it at friends' houses, and that's goldfish. When I grabbed this for this video, it brought back memories, and it took a lot for me to like not just eat this <laughs> because the marketing on it is so good. It just makes me want to like eat the whole bag. Thankfully, there's other options because looking at the ingredients on this, it's just enriched white flour, cheddar cheese, vegetable oils, which are super inflammatory, and then just like various other ingredients. But it's just a really high refined carbohydrate food. And I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, I could down this whole thing. And it's because it's so packed with refined carbohydrates, there's no satiety level to it. You're going to just want to eat more and more. Ultimately, it's not something that will support your weight loss goal. But there is something that is pretty equivalent that I actually got from Thrive Market. And this is something that I recommend to all my clients who love like having some type of cracker or like goldfish equivalent. And it's cheese wisps, wisps, wisps. You guys know what I'm trying to say. These are like the healthy adult version of goldfish. So here's the cheddar cheese one, which is like the most equivalent to just regular goldfish. It's literally just cheese and that's it. And they just bake it. <laughs> it's so good. But because it's made just from cheese, it has a good amount of protein, high quality fat, only one gram of carbohydrate per half of this whole container. So you're going to feel so much more satisfied. Like I can't eat a whole bag of this because I actually get full from it. So having this alongside your meal or I put it on like a cheese board or something similar like that is such a great swap. So bye bye goldfish. Okay, next up we have yogurt. So yogurt is actually a great food option. It's just not the better option. Yogurt is fermented dairy, so it is going to have a good amount of protein, although not too much. So about a three quarter serving is usually about five to six grams of protein. Instead, what is a lot better is to use Greek yogurt or skier. Both are pretty equivalent in terms of protein content. But the biggest difference between like Greek yogurt, skier, and then just regular yogurt is the protein content. So a three quarter cup serving of Greek yogurt has about 13 grams of protein. So it's like double, if not triple, depending on the brand for how much protein you're getting. And considering protein is so important for achieving a body recomposition goal, you can just make the simple swap of taking out your yogurt and getting Greek yogurt. Okay, Okay, next up we have protein bars. So most protein bars, even the ones that you'd think of as like healthy. <laughs> so I won't name names, but there's one that rhymes with like Schmar Blex bar where it looks so wholesome, it looks so good, but it uses dates as pretty much the base, which dates are really high glycemic, really high in sugar, and won't support a weight loss goal. Instead, if you're looking for something fast and easy, what I recommend are these various beef or meat sticks, which I hate the name of that. There really needs to be like a better name, but these are like the OG actual protein bars. You get high quality protein. So there's things like Chomps or Paleo Valley, grass fed, grass finished. I believe there's even, yeah, like turkey ones that you can get too if you aren't a fan of beef. Each one of these has about like nine grams of protein. So if I'm like in a pinch and I need to have something like in those circumstances, similar to a protein bar, I usually reach for two of these. So it'll give me 18 grams of protein without any of the sugar. And one thing that you probably noticed is that I got these foods so far from Thrive Market. And if you guys don't know what Thrive Market is, it's a really awesome online membership based grocery store. They're on a mission to make healthy healthy living as easy and accessible and affordable as possible. Plus it's just delivered directly to your door, which is awesome. You can save on every single order on high quality brands like Parm Whiffs and Chomps on their website or even on their app, which makes it even easier to use. Plus if you happen to find the price lower someplace else, Thrive Market will match it. So you're always guaranteed the lowest price. And all orders over $49 have free shipping. When you're using their app or shopping online, they have filters that will help you to discover different brands or food options that are based on your dietary goals. So if you're plant-based, if you're keto, if you're gluten-free, if you're paleo, you can just mark off these different boxes so you can make sure that you don't have to do the legwork yourself on figuring out if the brands that you're getting actually are adhering to your dietary goals. Something that I also recommend to my clients if they live in an area where they don't necessarily have access to a lot of these high quality food alternatives like Parm Whisk and all they have are these. <laughs> By being able to order online, not only is it shipped directly to your door, but it also opens up opportunities on perhaps foods that you couldn't 
find locally near you, all while saving money in the process. So like a win-win win. In fact, most of the items that I'm going to be showing you from today's list are things that you can easily find on Thrive Market as healthy swaps for your weight loss and wellness goals. And right now you can join Thrive Market today to get 30% off your first order plus a free gift that's worth up to $60. You can head over to thrivemarket.com forward slash autumn baits for 30% off your first order. And I'll have that linked down in the description below so you guys won't miss out. Okay, next up we have guacamole and chips. Guacamole is actually a really fantastic high quality fat and fiber source, so that's not the problem, it's the chips. Even with healthier versions like this Siete brand that a lot of people will have, it's still made with things like cassava flour that ultimately can have that higher blood sugar response for the body. Really easy to just keep eating more and more of them and therefore isn't an ideal option for a weight loss or wellness goal. A better option would be jicama. So if you guys haven't seen it, it looks like this and you can just thinly slice it up and it's so crisp and so delicious. It's so perfect in like either sticks or you can slice it up into thin strips, dip it into your guacamole. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's just a light, refreshing, crunchy alternative to those heavier, densier, starchier chips. Okay, next up we have oat milk, which oat milk is getting this unfair reputation of being healthy and it's just really not a healthier option. It's just made from oats, so it's really high in carbs. You're just drinking like oaty water. And also most of them have the inflammatory canola oil in there. It's just not a great option. Instead, if you are plant based, then I would go with something like unsweetened almond milk. If you're buying it yourself, this is a good brand where it's literally just water and almonds. I actually got this also from Thrive Market, just delivered straight to my house. You could also use coconut milk, hemp seed milk, pretty much any other plant based milk that's not oat milk or rice milk. But sticking with the nut and seed milks doesn't provide the huge spike in carbohydrates, making it a much better option for a weight loss goal. Okay, the next swap we need to talk about are gummy vitamins. Now, I'm not going to lie, these actually were the vitamins that I used during the first like two months of my pregnancy because it was the only thing that my super nauseous self could handle. So there is certainly a time and a place for like gummy vitamins if you're pregnant and you can't have anything else. But if you aren't feeling constantly nauseous like I was, then you will want to throw out your gummy vitamins for a capsule vitamin instead. Because typically each serving of a gummy supplement has about four to six grams of sugar. This one has, I think it's six grams of sugar, seven grams of sugar. I hated taking these in the morning because I was always just like so much sugar. It actually like kind of hurt my teeth to eat that much sugar. Especially if you're taking multiple different types of supplements, you could be really adding up on the sugar content if you're relying on gummy vitamins. So instead getting the capsule equivalent, so it's my capsule prenatals, that way you're getting everything you need from the supplement, but you aren't getting the added sugar. Okay, next up is vegetable oil, which I feel like just even looking at this line and row of vegetable oils, it just doesn't even look good for you. <laughs> but on top of it not looking very healthy, vegetable oils are super high in omega-6 fatty acids that are really inflammatory, and it's just been linked to a lot of health issues. So instead, I like to opt for ghee, this is a brand that I use that I also get through Thrive Market as well. Ghee is much higher in the heart healthy omega-3 fatty acids. It's much lower in the omega-6 inflammatory fatty acids. And you can cook it at higher heat because it does have saturated fats in it, which makes it so it's not going to oxidize as quickly like those vegetable oils. Okay, next we have sports drinks, which I won't name any specific brands, but this one rhymes with later made. So at the grocery store, I was shocked by just how much sugar is in this one bottle. But on top of that, most sports drinks don't actually have very much electrolytes to really see the benefits. What I like to use instead is either just plain salts, so like Redmond salt is a really great one, or if you like to have some flavor, I like to use Element. Both of those options are zero sugar, so you don't get overloaded with all that insulin spiking sugar, while getting much more of the sodium that's actually needed to help replace those lost electrolytes. Okay, so next up we have takeout. For us, some of our favorite takeout is to get either like Mexican food or Indian food. These are great and can actually be really supportive of goals if you're ordering the right types of foods, but oftentimes it's kind of hard to avoid the rice, the naan, the chips. So an option that's more more in line with your goals is to have DIY takeout. But this is like my secret hack that I tell all my clients to do and it's a game changer. And it's to get these simmer sauces. So you can find these on Thrive Market as well. They have tikka masala. There's other various options. I, I believe you can even find like mole. There's definitely enchilada sauce where all you have to do is take whatever protein, whatever vegetable you want, put it in a big pan, make sure that it's pretty much cooked the way you like, dump this whole sauce on, and then you just simmer it all together. It makes it so that you can have like that same takeout delicious food, but without all 
of the really starchy ingredients like the rice and the naan that goes along with it. Okay, so next up we have pasta, but I'm not even going to go into like regular pasta because I think most people know it's not an ideal option from a weight loss perspective. What a lot of people do instead is they'll use chickpea pasta, which might on the face of it sound better. But as you can see here, it's still really starchy and it does have in the ingredients, other starches that can raise the blood sugar level or especially if you're carb sensitive, not be as in line with your goals. And again, I'm talking about specifically from a weight loss perspective. If you wanna opt for chickpea pasta and if you're not looking to achieve a weight loss goal, fantastic. But if you're looking to better optimize your goals, what I do recommend is palmini. So palmini is literally just made of hearts of palm and it sort of even looks like right their pasta, even though it's not. So this can, but also comes in pouches, has three servings and for each serving, it has four grams of carbs, but only two grams of net carbs. So you can pair this with like your own homemade chicken Parmesan or like pesto and have it be 100% in line with your goals. Now, if you aren't a fan of hearts of palm, there's also spaghetti squash, which I've shared various recipes in the past or zucchini noodles. So many other options that are whole food options that aren't extremely high in those refined starches than some of these prepackaged like chickpea pastas. Okay, next up we have coffee creamer. So a typical brand that you'll see is Coffee Mate, and it's mostly just made of water, sugar, vegetable oil, and five grams of added sugar per tablespoon. That's assuming you stick with one tablespoon. Let's say if you have like three tablespoons, it's 15 grams of added sugar in your coffee. That really adds up. Instead, something that I like to use as an alternative are nut pods also purchased on Thrive Market. Per tablespoon, nut pods have one gram of fat, zero grams of carbs, and zero grams of protein. It's also made from water, coconut cream, almonds, natural flavors, and pretty much that's it. So it has better ingredients, it doesn't have the added sugar, making it a much better option from a weight loss perspective if you're having coffee in the morning. Okay, next up we have potato chips. <laughs> I don't think anybody thinks of potato chips as like a weight loss food, but potato chips are both high in fat and carbs, which can cause this like bliss point action, making it really easy to eat more and more of potato chips. Hard to stop once you start, which is probably where like, what were they called? Kringles, Pringles, Pringles, like got their whole slogan from. I think it's like, once you pop, you just can't stop. 90s kids, where you at? So something that's a much better option that might blow like a lot of people's minds is pork rinds. I know there's going to be some people on here who are like, Autumn, I'm questioning your behavior right now. But pork rinds unfairly got like a bad reputation for a long time, mostly during like the really low fat craze because pork rinds do contain a good amount of fat. In fact, a serving of pork rinds from this brand, which I also got on Thrive Market, has six grams of fat, less than one gram of carbs and eight grams of protein. So pork rinds are just like pork skin, which also doesn't sound like appetizing, but these are actually delicious and they can satisfy that like similar craving for chips because they're salty, they're crunchy, they're like light and airy, and they don't have that combination of carbs and fat making it so you have to eat more and more. In fact, I get pretty full eating pork rinds when I have them along with my meal because they are so high in protein. They're also really rich in glycine, which is an important amino acid for making the antioxidant glutathione in the body. So there's actually reasons why you might want to swap in pork rinds definitely instead of chips as a great alternative. Now, most of the things I mentioned in today's video can easily be found on Thrive Market and delivered directly to your door. So if you guys wanna make sure you can get that 30% off discount, make sure to head over to thrivemarket.com forward slash Autumn Bates or click the link in my description box so you can get some of these food swaps and take advantage of that massive discount. And of course the free gift up to $60. Now, if your goal is to lose weight, make sure you check out this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.